Channel 9 each and every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Um, we've got a great Vasaki special for you lined up today. We've got an excellent panel of guests, uh, all Narjuan from the local uh, Sangat. And we got, uh, just to start the show, before we introduce all our guests, what we're going to do is play a short video just to start the show off. Uh, it's about Vasaki, it's about the Mili, it's about <coughs> the Nugal Kitans, and just a few warning signs to what to look out for while you attend these events over the next few weeks. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Bate. I'm here to discuss about Vasaki and at this sort of period of time in the UK where we are where of, uh, there's a lot of Vasaki Nagar Kitans, there's a lot of Vasaki Mille, a lot of Vasaki events which you and the Sangata will be attending um, just to be vigilant. This video is going to be telling you about a few uh, warning signs and dangers that are out there potentially while you um, attend these events. Firstly, what is Vasaki? Um, there's a link below which will be coming in and you can watch exactly and learn how uh, the Sikhs celebrate Vasaki and what it's about. It's about Siddhi Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, it's about the birth of the Khalsa, nothing else. We celebrate Vasaki because of the Khalsa, it's the birth of the Khalsa. The Sikhs are doing it because of the Khalsa. Yeah? So the Punjabi say, oh no, no, it's a cultural festival, the Hindus do it, other people celebrate it. Well then call it a Jat festival. So you just saw a Bajigrad Singh from Basis of Sikhi and his video on Vasaki and why Sikhs celebrate Vasaki. This is the Khalsa way. Um, as you know, there's a lot of Vasaki events, Mele, Nagar Gitans, a lot of people will be attending. I really want to make sure that everyone knows how to act while they're there and respectfully make sure there's no alcohol, make sure there's no tobacco, make sure you're dressed appropriately and respectfully at all these events. You know, you're there for the right reasons. Obviously, there's been a couple of uh, million Nagar Gitans already, and there's already been signs of um, potential perpetrators at these events, these predators. As you know, the events are marketed so massively on channels, on magazines, on papers, online, so much. And people, um, you know, push and promote their events that they're doing for the right cause for Vasaki. But the perpetrators and predators see this, and what they see is potentially a lot of Sikh, vulnerable Sikh girls in one place and what we want to try and do out there is to show you some of the dangers and warnings people, um, potential perpetrators come and they deceitfully like to wear kare or parke around their heads to try and fit in and make themselves look like Sikhs so they can sort of um, you know find uh, their prey in, in, a, in, in a nutshell at these places and events so they can you know, target them there. So they use these places as a, a target ground to groom and take away people and isolate them from uh, their families and loved ones so they can uh, take full advantage. So we want you to be careful, vigilant. Please stay with uh, close friends and loved ones only. Make sure that you're with your family members only and you don't like sort of pass out your details or personal information to anyone that you don't know at these events. It's really important that you do so. Why? I'm going to just show you a couple of young Sikh girls who were targeted at these events and what happened to them. I want to talk about this incident because I want girls to be more vigilant, especially at a family friendly medla. Um, no girl should have to go through what I went through. And although it seems small, it could have led to so much more. Um, I was innocently with my family and friends at the Menla and just watching um, one of the performances going on and what I thought was one of my friends playing a practical joke turned around to be a guy who was clearly not of Sikh faith um, touching me inappropriately. Um, as I turned around um, after being touched I saw that it was a guy that he was obviously not of um, Sikh faith laughing in my face before I could say anything he ran away from that moment, I felt so insecure, so paranoid. It started at the Nagarkirtan, which is like a Vasaki Nagarkirtan, and it's a festival where you all walk, and it's just to celebrate who we are as Sikhs. And this guy approached me, and he asked me for my number, and he was around like 18, 19, and he was wearing a kara, a Sikh bracelet, which is our identity, and he was wearing a bandana. They tend is like, you're another sweet guy, you, you know what our parents are like, you know that my parents would kill me, you know that you can't do this. 
and that's when he told me that he wasn't a sweet guy. And I just, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. He was a Muslim guy. As you just saw now, this um, two videos where two Sikh girls were targeted by Pakistani guys at Vasaki Nagar Kirtans. As an organization, we don't tolerate this and we will stand firm on this of anyone, who, any perpetrator from any community who comes to try and target Sikh girls. Yeah, we're going to let people know about it. So please be vigilant, be aware, make sure that this doesn't happen to you. Make sure you're listening to the warning signs. Keep yourself safe. Safeguard yourselves, make sure you're around close family and friends, do not give your information to anyone, any personal information shouldn't be given to anyone that you don't know at these events. Be very careful and to our brothers out there, keep your eye out and make sure that we can find out if, uh, why people are there, what their motives are, so that we can address these issues and safeguard the Sikh community at our Vasaki events. Thank you for listening. Vaigluji ka khalsa, Vaigluji ki pateh. As you saw, you just saw the video and a few warnings and dangers what's going on around the Vasaki period of time, the Nagal Kitans, the Mele, how you need to be careful when you go, who you need to be around. I'm just going to introduce my panel of guests and then we'll just discuss a few things about the Nagal Kitans and Mele before we go in. We've got a lot lined up. We're going to be talking about um, a new book that's being released, a new magazine and uh, a Sikhi uh, camp that's coming up in a few weeks as well. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, there's a lot of activity and events for you, the Sangha, to attend. But let me just introduce my panel, then we'll go straight into it. First of all, Pai Amandeep Singh, Vai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guru Ji Fateh. Pai Kabir Singh, Vai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guru Ji Fateh. Prabhjit Singh, Vai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guru Ji Fateh. Taranjit Singh, Vai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guru Ji Fateh. Bhavinder Singh, Vai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guru Ji Fateh. And Kamraj Singh, Vai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guru Ji Fateh. So I want to thank everyone for attending at short notice and uh, coming to this Vasaki special show. Um, after watching that video regarding uh, the events, um, Obviously, Kabir, you've come, uh, you've come, you do a lot of the Nagal Kitas and Mele up and down yeah. the country, and you've been attending for numerous amounts of year, uh, years. How do you find the sort of issues that we face at Nagal Not m many, because it's not major, but there is concerns when there's, um, you know, people being targeted at Nagal Kitas. Uh, there definitely is concerns, uh, as the video showed um, you talking to one of the girls that was affected last year at the uh, Nagal Kitas in the park. So incidents are still happening. Uh, so this is a bounty really to all the all girls, all you know, young guys out there. If you're going there, the Sikh Youth UK team, just come to the stall if there are any issues um, out there. Just come to us, and we'll try and address the situation in a in a suitable way. Um, but that that video is classic. That there are still incidents. We shouldn't, you know, forget about these incidents. It's still happening right now. Um, and um, just to talk about the Nagar Kirtan uh, as a whole, um, Sikh Youth UK, we've got three stalls there this year. Um, numerous merchandise will be there. I mean, the new magazine, the K2K magazine, um, which talks, this, loads of our different servadars have been featured in here, um, talking about the different journeys, different um, write ups. Um, it's definitely, a, a must look at really really good um, and, and they're going to be distributed free free of charge Sunda. free of charge yeah. um, so a lot of time and effort has gone into those obviously as you can see um, some of the articles definitely. are great they talk about there's a tribute to Pai Jagrad Singh in there some sports stuff yeah you know we go back into history a lot of um, a lot of uh, work going on within the community, community projects, the history, 99 years since uh, Jallianwala Bagh, yeah. and then 40 years since 1978 massacre as well. So Absolutely. there's a lot going on, um, you know, so make sure you get your freebies off the stalls. Absolutely, and there's new merchandise as well. I mean, we got three, four new uh, t-shirts, uh, a new hoodie launched. So um, it's, it'll be really good for the youngsters yeah, as well yeah. to so, come down. So obviously, um, obviously the main uh, mill on the Nagar Gitan in Handsworth is on the 29th of April. So if the Sangha didn't know, uh, 29th, there's two Nagar Gitans, one leaving from Ramgariya, I think. Ramgariya Godora in South Birmingham. Uh, and one from Baba Sang Godora Smedic, coming past G&G &G Smedic, uh, to Baba Deep Singh. Bibi Nanki and then to Hansworth Park. So make sure you join the Nagar Kitan. That's on the 29th in Birmingham. This Saturday is actually Vasaki. So I want to bring Bayamandeep Singh in 
to now and talk about where how Vasaki started and uh, the whole format. Let the viewers know, you know, the history behind Vasaki and then why we celebrate it as Guru Six. Joto prem khelan ka chau, sir thar tali gali meriya. Et marak pair tari ja, sir di ja kaan na ki ja. Sri Maan Guru Khalsa Saad Sangit Ji, Vahe Guru Ji ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji ki pata hai. First, we would like to thank Sikh Chano for allowing the youth a platform to come and deliver the message of Sikhi across well, the whole world. Pai Kudeep Singh Deepapa Ji has asked, what is Vasakhi, what happened? Now we all know the story, but then at Aligarh University in back home, an article was discovered, a handwritten document was discovered, which was written by Aurangzeb spy. Aurangzeb, as we know, was the emperor of Hindustan at that time. And that spy which was sent to spy on 1699 at Sri Anandapur Sahib, he wrote his eyewitness account of what is so happening, what Sri Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj did. Now it's a bain that everybody please read the upper nine, research it, because we haven't got time to go through everything that happened. But Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Maharaj he did the whole quote, the whole play, Sajad the Panja Piyari, and blessed us with Khande Bhatta the Amrita. And then themselves, Satguru Sahib Maharaj went on to one knee. Now, this is the highlight of everything that happened in history related to that one day. The Vasakhi in Solo Sonirenami, Isvi. Why? Because the Guru who gave Amrit, he himself got into one knee. So there's been many prophets out there, many messengers, many people sent by God, many holy people. No one's ever begged to their disciple. Sri Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj went down in front of five Gursikhs and they said, Minuvi Gobind Rai to Gobind Singh Banal, bless me with Amrit. And the Panju Pair said, You are the Guru, how can we bless you with Amrit? And then Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sari said, But you are the Khalsa. And then at that time, Pai Daya Singh he spoke that as Gursikhs, we've given our head to you, Maharaj. And what will you give? You're the Guru, give more. And then Dasim Padri said that when I was younger, I gave my father to save the Hindu Taram. Our Hindu brothers and sisters, our ninth Guru saved their lives, saved the Janu. Now Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Maharaj he said that if you give me these five court of Amrit, I'll give everything I have. Maharaj is five direct members of the family. The child says of the Mata Gujar Kaurji, for each court of Amrit, because five drops of Amrit are put into the mouth of that soul, whoever wants Amrit. Maharaj took five drops in their mouth, said Fateh five times, and they gave five members of the family for those five drops. And then Maharaj Mama Kripal Chandraji, all of their cousins, all of their family members, the directory and the far related, all of the Khalsa, Maharaj made everyone sheet. Why? So that us guys, Maharaj made the whole family sheet so that the Khalsa could be happy. Maharaj gave Bachan, the Sukhi Vasai Muru Prevara, Sivak Sek Subhai Kartara, Maharaj says, the Panth Vasai Me Ujra, Mana Chao Kanera, that may I be happy. May, may the Khalsa be happy, Maaf Karna. I mean, my whole family, may I be destroyed, may I have to be sleeping in the jungles. Minupama, thale pana pewe, mere skosh vina rewe, pa Khalsa sukhi rewe. That's the importance of Vasakhi. That everything that happened, the Saivs of the Shidiya, or what we experienced throughout the whole of Itahas, Anandapur Sahadi Jang, Chamkaur Sahadi Jang, it all became because the Guru Gobind Singh himself gave the bachan to the Panji Pyare. And such a magnificent day. In the land of India, Hindustan, people used to be scared. When a bird used to go past, they used to be scared of Kabutar or Gya. There used to be a noise. And the Mughals at the time, the Turks, they used to be wiping out the Hindus, left, right and centre, killing them. And Sri Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, he made the Khalsa, why? Because in India, they are Char Varan, they are different castes. And even in Sikhi, people try to divide us by caste, or other creeds, or whatever. And Sri Guru Gobind Singh, he made us into one. If we read back our history as well, because of this Vaisakhi day, every single Hindu family used to give one child to the Panth. So if they had two sons, they'd give one Guru Sikh, let him take Amrit. That was the history, even till now, into modern days, that was the history. Nowadays, obviously, the media has made us look lower. But coming back to Vasakhi, Vasakhi is that day when Sri Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj made us into one, awoke the whole Panth, and gave button for the Panth, and blessed us with Khande Bhatta the Amrit, and made us into warriors. And Mara blessed us with Khande Bhatta and gave us the gift. And the only thing that I have to say is that in these countries, everyone celebrates Christmas, which is amazing. Because that's the culture of this country, Tarama. May everyone be happy, whoever does that, all our Christian brothers and sisters. Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji given us a present on Vasakhi. And that present, if you bring it to worldly terms, if someone gives us a present, and then we don't open it, we put it aside. And if somebody was to come back 10 years, 20 years, 30 years later, and see that present on the side, what will the person think? They'll be upset that they don't love me. Sri Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj Ji gave us Panjika Kaar, 
and they gave them to us on Vaisakhi. So when Vaisakhi comes and we're going to the Nagar Gita and we're going to the Guru Kar for all these massive programs or we're texting someone happy Vaisakhi, let's just remember that that day is actually when we was given a gift. That's our present day. Have we even taken that gift yet? If we put that gift aside, then what are we saying happy Vaisakhi about? It's like saying happy Vaisakhi, but what's happy because we haven't taken our father's gift? That's why it's a bainti. Even a smelly guru kara 11 a.m. on the sakhi, khande bata the amat is going to be given. It doesn't matter who you are, what taram you're from, what past you have. Guru na apna sees deke amar shako. And as he tara, all these gursiks who fought for us in Sri Darbar Sahib, all the gursiks who are locked up nowadays in jail, if you really love them and wish to show them respect, then amar shakhe maara de khushiya lalo. Uh, it's a great, uh, nice little uh, st- uh, Saki to tell you guys how and why the Saki, why it was created on 1699 at Sadiya Nandpur Sahib. And to this day, like uh, Baji just mentioned, on Saturday at Guru Nanak Goddara Smedic, there's an Amrath Sanchar. Um, uh, all day at Guru Nanak Goddara Smedic on Saturday as well, there's going to be a, a national book launch at five major Goddara, I believe, at um, GNG Smedic, uh, GT. Be Leicester, Slough, Southall, I think two Goddore in Slough, to be fair. Uh, so uh, all five Goddore, I think the poster's on the screen now, so keep that. Uh, look, uh, look, look at the poster and get all the details. Make sure you go and purchase the book. Uh, all the money goes back to projects. A lot of uh, orgs and Pantik Jatibandi have backed this project. Um, one of them's Guruna Goddara Smedic, CQ UK and uh, 1984 Tribute. A lot of other Pantik people have put their efforts and time into doing this, the design work and the artwork. And remember Santaji, and this is uh, this, vol- this is volume one, and it's the Battle of Amritsar. So volume one is um, start, uh, the first launch is this Saturday. And if you remember what Santaji did in 1984, Vasaki 1984, tens of thousands of people sh- uh, were taking Amrit uh, from Santaji and all the things at that time and the whole Jata, I believe. And that was it, 10,000 that April. So uh, th- those were the fa- that's how big Amrit and Charles were. So let's try and uh, get uh, yourselves into a good red and jivan and come onto that side as well. It's really important that we safeguard ourselves. Sikhi is the only thing that's going to save our lives. So um, uh, you save your lives and your families from all these problems and all these taboo issues. So make sure you purchase the book and teach these young. This is a book for children. So it's planting the seed young, getting them to learn about their history at a very young age. This is what we need to be doing a lot more of. So really well done to everyone who's put time and effort into this. And you know, um, going on to from Vasaki events, uh, Mille and all these programs that are going up and down the country like this Saturday, I believe every God that I will be having a program. After these events, how do you stay engaged? Um, this is where I'm going to bring Singh into uh, to the program because he's been doing a lot of work with Seek to Inspire, an organization, another youth body, and they work closely with us. They work closely with Seek Channel and they always get a platform. So, you know, um, Bavinder Singh, uh, welcome to the show. And, you know, all these events and stuff, how to keep these people engaged through the camps you've been doing over the years and some of the projects and the events that you do. Just let the viewers and Sangata know about the up and coming camp you have in May. <laughs> So, Paji, uh, Gudeep Singh Dipa does a great job with the uh, CQ UK promoting and safeguarding, uh, you know, looking after the safeguarding issues within the country. You know? But when we get onto that platform, like Amadeep Singh has been speaking about uh, taking Amrit, taking that step towards that Guru, accepting that, you know, the gift that Maharaj gave us uh, free and over 300 years ago, you know, to make us steadfast, to make us those warriors, to make us. Uh, ready to challenge, put every challenge that comes towards us. So that be it grooming, be it, uh, you know, bullying, be it, you know, drugs, whatever, anyone in the community to help out. Um, and for us too, once we take that step, we need to be keep engaged as well. And one of the biggest things, I think a couple of years ago, there was a message that went out that every Sikh, if they want to be true sons and daughters of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, we need to enter our home and Anandpur Sahib. And we need to create that atmosphere within our Godwari around the country and out that Jo Anandpur Sahib Sigha. Now, uh, Anandpur Sahib is at home. Um, so to create that atmosphere, what we try to do every year, part of Seek to Inspire, and a lot of people, a lot of the viewers, a lot of the knowledge in the UK, kind of know what we do, huh? um, a lot of prachar up and down the country, you know, sp- you know, uh, CQ UK sports, there's a lot of other organizations around the country, we work together to do a lot of projects. One of, one of our main, we could say, pinnacle, uh, events of the year is um, a Seek to Inspire camp, which is coming up um, at the end of May, so the May bank holiday weekend. And the closing day is this Vasaki, so in a couple of days' time. 
Um, and at the camp, um, you know, there's loads of videos you can go on our YouTube channel and check out. Um, um, uh, before you continue, I'm going to just ask the gallery um, uh, if they could put uh, the camp poster up so the Sangha can see, you know, the dates and times of the camp and what sort of, uh, you know, the poster that is. So if the Sangha, they, the gallery can get that up, we'll appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so the camp is taking place on the 24th to the 29th of uh, May. Uh, so it's a bank holiday weekend. Um, and it's taking place in North Wales, so it's, what we try to do at, at these camps are to uh, disengage people from their own, you know, their, uh, you say, comfort zones in their home where they, you know, TV distracts them, their phones distracts them, friends and their life. We're trying to take them out of that zone and take them into a place where it's very a rural area where they're disengaged from you know, their life lifestyles and anywhere their comfort zones and put them into such a place where wherever you look, wherever you do, Sikhia. Uh, we have Maraj Prakash, Yuti Hundia, we have a Divan, we have workshops. Everywhere you go, people are talking about Sikhi and how to support. This year, uh, we've got talkers, uh, Sukrat Singh, uh, Bai Kulji Singh from Leicester. Uh, we've got a talker uh, from Canada. Uh, we've, got a, we've got Benji Ikwinderkod. Um, we've also got a, a talker from Scotland, Jasteep Singh. Uh, but we've also got organisations that support us throughout the year coming to talk about, you know, safeguarding like CQF UK. We've also got um, CQ Mind as well, which is an organisation that's working along mental health within our community. So they're coming down to help and support uh, young people because what we find every year, and I think, uh, you know, CQF UK have spoke about it as well, there's a lot of young people when they come, not just young people, even people in our, uh, you know, mid-30s, uh, even older, who suffer with issues where they can't, figure out ways to deal with them. They don't know where to go sometimes. And as well. they don't know where to go. So speak to yourself, seek to inspire. We need to, we have systems where we can signpost people. But when they come to these kind of places like camps and they're disengaged from the community, that's where they feel comfortable and they can speak out and try to find that support. So this is the reason we've got these kind of organizations coming along. And if you have those kind of issues you can have one to ones with the people there that to help you support as well. Also Siki it's a place where you could come and open and ask questions about Sikhi, where you're confused, where you're sometimes shy to ask in, in normal Godra, we, we can't I engage with, our, with the Godra grantees or the Pracharics or you know the committees at the Godra. These places are such a like, uh, non-judgmental uh, atmosphere where you know you feel comfortable, it's just like speaking to your friends. And that's what we try to do. And we have to build that comfort zone for people to be able to be, about, uh, we have to we be all, approachable we, we and stuff like that. We all have questions about Sikhi. We all have questions. And sometimes we, when we have issues, we don't know who to approach. Yeah. So and uh, as teams and orgs, this is what, it's a fantastic project, what they're doing and they've been doing over the last few years. So it's really good. Make sure you all, you know, uh, if you haven't signed up, you've got a couple of days left. Yeah. Sign up, go please. Go to do. the website. Go on to the website, seektoinspire.org. Um, click on the camp um, tab and sign up. Um, it's a family camp as well, so you can bring your kids, I take my kids, um, and there's, we have a mini camp running there for the kids as well, so you know, where the family and the parents can get into their workshops and learn about and develop their jiva and you know, their journeys, which again will help their kids, but we take those kids all, you know, away into their own atmosphere, into their own camp where they can learn as well, so it's a whole family learning experience as well. No, that's brilliant. Well done to your whole team. And we appreciate you coming on the show at last minute and, you know, trying to get. So as we got, we've got the last couple of minutes. So I'm going to give everyone their last few um, seconds to say their last messages to the Sangata. But um, before we leave, don't forget all these events, the the national book launch on Saturday for children's book, uh, Santaji book, volume one, Battle of Amrita, uh, the magazine on the Seek Youth stores, as Kabir has been saying about the Amile uh, and Vasaki Nagar Kitans up and down the country and the got book launch this weekend um, and you know I'm going to just give the last few but don't forget to sign up for the camp it's the last couple of days get your names and your families down involved get there get away have that break and you know get into a good positive Sangat um, last couple of minutes guys last uh, few seconds each this is the 40th anniversary this was Saki we were buying down to us today in Gursik Wabi is Sri Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj Jathadal Pai Fawja Singh alongside their companions who left Sri Amritsar Sahib did their das and laid down their lives the greatest tribute we can do is give our head to the same Satguru which they died for. They died and became Amar, alive forever. They died for Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji, gave Shidi for Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. If we love Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, Jis Pyaare Se Aneho, Tis Aage Mar Chaliye, Let's drop our head up Maharaj, say Maharaj, we come to your house every day to do Matha Take, but every time we came, we picked our head up and walked back out. But today we're dropping our head, leaving at your feet and we're taking Amrit. 
Yeah, just a benthi to all the Sangat that um, just come down to our stalls up and down the country. Uh, I mean, we're going to be in Leeds next weekend. This weekend we're in uh, Wolverhampton. Yeah. Um, on the Sunday, uh, weekend after Coventry as well. Leeds and Coventry on the same weekend. And then the following weekend is at Birmingham, Hansworth Park, so please come down. And this Saturday is at G&G Smethwick? G&G Smethwick, yeah, this Saturday, so uh, please do try and come down and check it out. Why would you go call us? Bobby, last, uh, last message to the viewers before we end the show. Yeah, let's not uh, waste the opportunity in it, at this Vasaki as well. Maharaj is calling all the time, so let's take those steps towards Maharaj. If you're ready to take Umrath, you know, there's Umrath, the up and down the country, there's a Guru Nanak Godra Smethwick at 11 o'clock. Um, if you're not ready to take that step, you know, do something to get closer to your guru uh, and attend camp as well. Yeah, if definitely. you want to find a way to your guru, you know, camps are always the way. So yeah, seek to inspire camp. Brilliant. I want to thank all the guests and everyone who came at last minute for this Vasaki special and all of you guys who tuned in, tuned in to watch today's show. Thank you for listening. We want to thank Seek Channel always giving us a platform each and every Wednesday. Tune in next week. Um, this show has been on, on live on Facebook, so um, please share it. Let the, your family and friends know and to attend all of these events up and down the country. Thank you for listening. Bye, Guruji Ka Khalsa. Bye, Guruji Ki Fateh.